दादा आपको मैं सत्सत प्रणाम करता हूँ आई बाव टू द डिविनिटी इन यू बिकॉज मेनी पीपल वॉन्ट टू नो वाट तंत्र इज ऑल अबाउट वाट इज तंत्र वेरी गुड गुड क्वेश्चन सो तंत्र एक्चुअली इट इज ए संस्कृत वर्ड विच मीन्स लिबरेशन थ्रू एक्सपांसन इट इज तंत्र इज कंबाइंड ऑफ टू टू वर्ड्स तन एंड त्रय तन मीन्स एक्सपांसन एंड त्रय मीन्स लिबरेशन ओके सो लिबरेशन थ्रू एक्सपांसन इज कॉल तंत्र मीन्स यू हैव टू एक्सपांड योर माइंड एक्सपांड योर माइंड एंड गो एंड एक्सपांडिंग एज लंग एज यू आर नॉट गेटिंग गेटिंग योर गोल दैट इज कॉल दैट इज कॉल तंत्र तंत्र it is the one meaning the second meaning is the all the practical process so there is in tantra there is no theory sure suppose i am i am preparing how to make orange juice i make uh, uh, bring a machine and i show you everything i peel the oranges and i show you that how the juice is coming that is tantra if i am giving a lecture hours and hours about about the how to make orange juice that may not be that is not tantra sure i mean it makes lot of sense to me because tantra tano vistare dhatu se bana hua ye tantra word hai vistar matlab as that vistar now the other question is that people talks about tantra 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 in very many different contexts right, right? so through expansive awareness yeah. when people seek for liberation yeah. and salvation that, that is tantra right, right. and uh, the because there are saiva tantra there is a sakta tantra there is a narapatra tantra there is also Sa- vaishnava tantra saura tantra and vaishnava tantra I mean, five uh, tantra uh, are there right uh, which, which which are those five tantra saiva tantra sakta tantra vaishnava tantra yeah. okay saura tantra and narapatra tantra what are the difference here yeah i can tell you saura tan uh, first it goes with the saiva tantra saiva ta- saiva shiva the main word shiva is saiva yeah. shiva means consciousness to achieve the supreme entity through your practices through your meditation that is called saiva tantra and sakta tantra means sakta means the, to get uh, energy power or to get power or occult power or uh, you know extraordinary power through practices different uh, kind of practices it is called sakta tantra to energy shakti sure. okay then ne- next comes the ganapatya tantra ganapatya means ganapati ganapati means who controls to get the power of control of the society over the group about the ganesha gana means the people and isha means the controller of the people so to get a certain sta- status just like to become a leader okay so th- that is called ganapat ganapatya tantra then comes vaishnava tantra vaishnava means vishnu vishnu means one who is present in each and every entity of the universe to think to see the cosmic entity to see the param brahma in each and everything is vaishnava tantra okay last comes the saura tantra saura means the sun so the sun is in the middle and sun is controlling all the planets stars and all these things so astronomy astrology all these things comes under day and night eclipse solar solar eclipse lunar eclipse ekadashi amavasya purnima all these things to know about uh, the the effect of the, the, their sun and moon about our body about our uh, about our nadi and about ida pingala susumna how they are affected by this sun and moon so all these things it is coming under saura tantra thank you dada now final question as far as i understand that shiva thakur or sri sri ananda murti baba we call them he has combined tantra and also uh also he has brought lot of understanding from uh, vedanta right also brahma sutra right. bhagavad gita everywhere <laughs> sankhya lot from sankhya yeah yeah right yeah. <laughs> meaning that for ordinary person like us for the progressive realization of our worthy goal yeah just one line of teaching is not enough right that's yeah. why he must have brought it 
Yeah. Can you tell me the contribution of uh, Sri Sri Aranda Murthy for our uh, personal transformation? Our personal transformation, the real meaning of Tantra, Baba has wrote in two volumes, Tantra volume and Tantra volume two. Then he gave the definition of yoga, different different types of yoga Baba has explained about it. Then Baba explained about yajna, how to do yajna, what are the yajnas are there, that is also there. All the spiritual activity, the real meaning and which is most needed to practice in, in our practices to transform ourselves. Baba brought the Panchajanya system, Baba brought the Dharma Chakra system, Baba brought all these, you know, different type of spiritual practices, including the, the Tratak, you know, then Baba brought this, um, 16 uh, points. all this Astanga Yoga, Astanga Yama Niyama Asana Pranayama Pratyahara Dhyaranam Dhyan Samadhi, okay, so all these things Baba has, Baba has taken all the best things from everywhere, it, wherever it is available. And he explained in a new way, means new way in the sense, how to practice it in an easy way. That technique Baba has given. Sure. Other places it is there, but they do not have explained it properly. Even Jamaniyama, they are we are practicing from years and years with our uh, ancestors, but they did not explain it properly. Sure, in Shiva Mahinma Stotra, yeah. It is mentioned there that since the interests of different individuals are different, the ruchi jo hota hai na, farak farak. Yeah, yeah. So there he provides a ultimate freedom that you can choose. Right. The path according to your ruchi, your interest. Ruchi dambai chitrad, ruji kutil nana path jusam. Rinam me ko gamyam tamasi paisa arnabahiva. Like because of the difference in this uh, the interests, the propensities, and so on, people have, they can choose their path because no matter this uh, water coming from the Himalaya, they have to travel through a different morphology, geology, depending upon what is the surface available. Sometimes they have to turn that way, sometimes that way, sometimes one needs to become waterfall. But finally they reach mm -hmm. to the ocean. That the That's best. why I think Sri Sri Ananda Murthy has given <laughs> different. Thank you Dada for your time. Thank you so much. Pranam.